Welcome in, everyone. This is the weekly show. We are heading off to Phoenix, where I guess Travis is going to try to convince me that his new package is going to work. That and a lot more here on Stuck in the Catch Fence. I mean, that's got to be like the best open for Travis ever, right? I mean, sure, very, right? Very much, very much. Along with X. Yeah. If we're not talking about feet, then we're talking about a, a, a multitude of things. So let's go ahead and get the show started. Usually we do it live. We're going to do it a little bit different because, well, there's just not a lot of news. So my name is Ryan Peters. I'm with Travis Butt, Joe Spillman for this week's show. Travis, how are you doing? Living the dream out of here, trying to, trying to, you know, make it through the rest of the week. I need a. I, I'm ready for Friday and Saturday. I know you Switzerland County people are ready, ready for Saturday. Switzerland County people are ready for Saturday. I would say that as we take on a park that is in a forest uh, here on the hardwood floor. Joe, are you heading to see more owls to uh, see the forest park team play against our Pacers? Well, of course I'm heading to see more to watch, to watch that game. Uh, I did. I guess I didn't realize, um, you know, kind of a little irrelevant uh, conversation here. I didn't realize Seymour had like one of the biggest gyms in the entire country for a high school gym. A- they argue with Newcastle mm-hmm. because they changed their seating, whether or not they're the biggest in the world from a high school gym standpoint yeah. is between them and Newcastle. I wonder how many so, it holds. I'm not even real sure. Uh, I want to say... I, I don't even want to throw a guess out. I, I want to say it's over eight thousand, but I just don't, I feel like I'm, you know, you know, people in the comments they get real anal about that stuff. So you could hold most I NBA. Want to, I don't want to be wrong. You could hold most WNBA games there. Oh yeah, actually, you could hold the entire playoffs there. <laughs> Maybe until in the Fever get Caitlin Clark. Thousand two hundred twenty-eight is the new one, but they eight? said that Newcastle's official added seats to boost its capacity is eight thousand four hundred twenty-four. Cheaters. See how petty we are Cheaters. in Indiana. We, we reconfigure so we can hold the crown. See, that was pretty good well, that, right off the top of the noggin. There. That works because I went to Oldenburg this week, and I think their gym holds like eight people. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I've seen somebody get thrown out of that gym because they sat at the top of the third row, which is the top of the stadium, and uh, said something. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so hopefully um, we have a great time, and you know we don't freak out because of you know our team trying to win its first ever regional, but enough about, you know, our basketball. Let's go ahead and jump into a new segment. And uh, we're only three races in, but I'm going to ask you guys, is it time to freak out? SpongeBob. SpongeBob. I would... We can't have anyone freak out out there, okay? We've got to keep our composure. We've got too far. There's too much to lose. We've got to just keep our composure. Just want to watch the movie. I'm only going to say this one more time, sir. Calm down. I'm calm! <laughs> Sorry. When I put those together, I always laugh. I can't help it. We're going streaking. Yeah. And there was actually, I, I thought about I thought about putting the other one, uh, Mr. Will Ferrell, where he's, <laughs> Uh, said, I'm so effing scared right now, but I I couldn't bleep out the bad part. So, and we probably say enough of those. So yes, the segment is: Are we freaking out about a certain driver, a certain team? I'll uh, I'll go off the pole position. And the team that I'm freaking out about right now is actually RFK. You know, I thought that RFK after seeing the Stuart Haas not been very good here in the last couple of years, uh, the, the learning that. You know, Front Row Motorsports is a tier one team. I thought, okay, this really means that RFK is going to take the next next step. Um, Chris Buescher has been really bad. You know, not his own fault, but, I mean, he did get two members of his team suspended this week because of the tire exploding, coming off, falling apart. I don't know what you want to call it, but they determined that that was the crew's fault. Brad Keselowski, you know, has a 100 race. It's now over 100 race uh, non-winning or since his last win, and they just haven't been very good here recently. And, and that's a team that, with two super speedways to begin the year, I thought we were going to be talking about how Brad Kay almost won, how Chris Buescher definitely won. I have Chris Buescher in my bold picks as a Final Four contender. 
And through races, I feel really, really nervous about that. It's starting to reminisce of my Chase Briscoe in the Final Four pick last year. So that is the team right now that I am currently freaking out about. Travis? A uh, team that I've been freaking out about a little bit, even from last year, is Alex Bowman. Um, you know, he's a Hendrick guy. I love Hendrick. I, I've always loved Alex Bowman. I love that he, you know, how he got into his Hendrick role of being a Hendrick driver. But I'm freaking out a little bit because, you know, you see some of his teammates run really well. I see, um, you know, he's seen his teammates run him good results last year. Ever since his back injury, he fell way off. He had concussions the year before that. You know, he's just slowly just kind of like had not had a complete season since, you know, what is that, 2021? So, you know, we're looking at, you know, decline a little bit. Um, besides his second place in the 500, you know, I think he finished – what he finished 17th this past week, and then he was at 26th the week before that. So, you know, I know, you know, you got to see, you got other people around you like William Byron and you got Larson succeeding around you. And then you're kind of just on the back marker. So um, I'm not going to go as far as call him as a hack. I'm not going to do that. I was going to say, that might be the last time he won. What a hack. No, nope, last time he won it was Las Vegas in 2022. He beat. He got the two tires. Oh stopped. God, that's when Kyle Busch should have won. Yeah, you oh, and Martin God. Truex should have yeah. won. But, but, I'm I'm freaking out a little oh, bit God. because I do love suppress memories. I know I do love be some Alex Bowman. I will cheer for him, and I'd probably count him as my top three favorite drivers. But I'm freaking out a little bit Shocker. for the sake of, for the sake of. I'd like a little bit more if he wasn't the 48 car, but that's whatever. That's a different story. But I'm freaking out for the sake of, you know, if he doesn't do well this year, does someone fill that right? I know Ally has a really good role with Alex and have a really good, they have a good partnership. But, you know, I got to start seeing some results. Joe, you, I think, got another Hendrick driver here. I, you know, who are you freaking out about? I do. Uh, and, you know, when we discuss this, um, you know, we kind of, you, you directed us to think about who we're freaking out about. Um, I didn't put a lot of thought into it, but I, I think that you you have to be concerned. That's good. That's yeah, good. People yeah. want to know that. I, I didn't put a lot of thought into it. <laughs> but uh, I, I think you have to be concerned with Chase Elliott right now. I mean, the dude goes skiing last year. Uh, we played a short of his uh, of his uh, <clears throat> skiing accident uh, right here on oh, Stuck yeah. in the Catch Fence. I, I was not aware that the human body could take that many flips down a side of a mountain, but um, you know, he made it through it a little bit of rehab, got back into a car, but since then he has not been the same guy. I think we were talking just before we went on air, his best finish out of three races this year is uh, 12th, which is this past weekend. Is that correct? Um, yeah. So, I mean, when, when you talk about uh, supposedly, uh, the most loved driver in NASCAR, uh, fan loved driver in NASCAR right now, can't uh, crack the top 10 uh, consistently. Uh, you know, I think it's time to panic for him. I think it's time for him to and his team to, to take a giant reset and say, what what are we doing here, guys? I mean, you're talking about a, a former champion, um, you know, not being able to crack the top 10 on a consistent basis and hasn't been able to since he's come back. So. Uh, I, I think it's time for them to reevaluate what's going on in that nine car. Well, Joe, I'll give you this first question, and all three of us will answer it. Out of our three that we chose between two drivers at RFK, Chase Elliott and Alex Bowman, who do you think wins first? Ooh, probably Alex Bowman. Travis? Oh, man. I, I, it's a tough one, guys. That is tough. Um, I, I would say I have to agree with – oh, man, that's tough. I, I would probably say agree. I think Alex would probably get the win. He's pretty good about closing at the end of the races. I just don't see any speed out of out of Elliott these past 20 races. So I'd probably agree with Alex. I think Alex, and he just will randomly have a good, good run, and he's right there to win the race. Yeah. Well, I'll split it up. I'm actually going to go with Chris Buescher, even though that's the guy that I chose. I think they've had a little bit of bad luck. I think personally, like I said, I'm freaking out for my own selfish reasons because I chose him to make the Final Four. And when you choose a guy to make the Final Four and he's had like a two or a three in his finishing positions in front of a four, it makes you uh, a little antsy. But 
I, I still think that Chris Buescher is a, you know, a, a solid driver, but I, I don't doubt that it could be any of those guys. And, you know, I'm sure you guys have some confidence in these guys because, you know, a couple of you chose this week, I think maybe for that positive energy, just to kind of push it their way to see if you can get some results. Hey, I would like to see Brad K win. Like I, you know, and Jeff Gordon, all oh, running, no. I would, I, you know, to be honest with you, I'm not a, I'm not a Ford guy. Don't like Fords, but I'll tell you what, like I, I do for the emotional standpoint of me would just I actually would like to see Brad K, you know, in the winless streak and just, you know, say that I think, I think him getting to win, not even a championship. Him getting a win will solidify like his his takeover of Roush. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, any closing thoughts there? Uh, other than I don't care if Brad K wins or not. <laughs> <laughs> Joe doesn't like any driver he can't spell their last name. Hey, right. when I was in 09, when I was, what, a fifth or sixth grader, we used to do, used to do this pot where you'd make money so you get, like, a driver or whatever. And then I remember getting Brad K, and I'm like, why? He's driving, a like, a terrible car. I ain't going to win. Next thing I know, I'm watching the race. I'm like, man, he started 11th, and I had the 11th place driver. I won. So Brad K uh, won me my first money ever. A uh, special spot in your heart. Yeah. That'll never change. A little special. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. So. All right, guys, well, we're going to go into our next segment, our new segment, where we're going to play Rolling Off the Grid. All right. Actually, I sometimes forget that that's a video game when Joey Logano wrecks the entire field and they all go flying at Bristol. I, I, I sometimes think that that's real, but nonetheless. If you want to know how we did last week, well, we actually had two drivers that we got exactly right. Joe, or excuse me, Joe, you won't be a part of this conversation. No, okay. Uh, Martin Tricks Jr. was <laughs> picked correctly by Travis to finish seventh place. He did. And then I end up picking Austin Dillon out of all people to finish in 16th place. So, yeah, uh, that, that maybe maybe luck. Um, if you can do it twice in a row, that actually means you're really really good. I will have a a overlay next time. I currently have 17 points. Joe rhymes with zero, and then Travis has 10. So, and again. I'll lay out all those. If you guys want to play along, make sure you go in the comments below. But let me go ahead and share my screen so everybody can see it. Let me know whenever you guys are there. Ready. Are you guys able to see? Yep, go for right. it. You're first, so, aren't you? Joe. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll go first then. That's fine. Big bucks, no whammies. Yeah, you're fine. Whatever. All right. Oh, no. Oh. This is a guy you guys <laughs> like. Yeah. Ty Gibbs, a.k.a. fights with his helmet on. One of Joe's favorites. <laughs> um, Ninth. I'm going to go nine. So give me Ty Gibbs finishing in ninth place. Travis, you're in second place. You're next. Here comes Zane Smith or someone like that. Yeah. How about his how about his teammate? teammate? AKA stacking pennies. Corey LeJoy. 14th. 14th. All right. That's that's that would be a, a solid finish for Corey LeJoy, who seems to be pissed mm -hmm. off every right. single week at somebody new. And this time it's his teammate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Not as pissed off as Daniel Ricardo was at Yuki Sonoda during that race. Joe. Oh, yeah, baby. Attaboy, Joe. Recky Spinhouse. Recky Spinhouse. <laughs> Jeez. Instead that's of a fireworks, hard one. instead of fireworks, you go. Bah, 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 bah. Man, that's a hard one. I mean, because he could finish in the top 10 or he could finish 35th. Uh, let's go 12th. All right, so Ty for Ryan is ninth. You got you got Ricky getting in twelfth. Yeah. 
And then we got Corey LaJoy finishing in, uh, you said, what did you say, Travis? I want to make sure. 14th. 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 All right. I, I have feel like memory. me. All right. I feel like me saying 12th for Recky Spinhouse is less egregious than Corey LaJoy finishing at 14th, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. Austin Cendrick, a.k.a. my dad, is in high up place. <laughs> um, oh, God. 27. 27 Whoa. for Austin Cendrick. I'm Whoa, sorry. No, I'm no, sorry. Uh, is that is that your relation? <laughs> is, there, whoa, is there something uh, there that Austin Cedric's done? Jeez. Whoa. All right. Travis, up next. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> See, I you, you want to pick first on this because you know, but if he finishes and he could he could get points either way, you know. So you gotta yeah. do you play strategy on this or do you just say you, give me all ten points? It's your driver. I ain't telling you what to do. Give me give me third. Oh, he split the difference. He split the difference. Pulled out the math I, degree. I, I, split the difference. I, I think I can get some points either way. Yeah. You might want to check our betting show out if you like top three finish for yep. Mr. Young Money. All right, Joe. Joey Logano, a.k.a. Giggles. Giggles. Eighth. Eighth. Man, that Eighth. was just right off the top. He had that just sitting in there. He had it. He's got his notes right in front of him. He's got the Larry McReynolds notes right in front of him. <laughs> well, I, I, I have the scoring down, right? So I get points if he finishes fifth or tenth, right? Oh, my. Gosh. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to go again. It 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 went Logano. So I'm gonna go again. See, that's how you know it's random. Oh no! Oh man, Ooh, this is a guy that's an easy one like as well. Thirty. Um, I don't Mr. think that Tire would help show that might end up being the rest of the week. Eighteenth. I'm going to go 18th for Josh Berry. I do not like the guys I got this week. Travis, me, your final pick. Give me uh, something with uh, Hemrick. Uh, this, uh, that's what I have a feeling of. Oh, oh no. Oh, uh, oh, God. I mean, he's got a win there. His only cup win is at Phoenix. Right. Right. And a next-gen car. Right. Give me, give me eighth. Eighth for Chase. And Joe's last one. Course? No, he won here. What? This, like his second here. race of his. Oh, my. Look at this. Yeah. Look. Oh, no. It's going to get worse. Henrik. Oh, I was one spot off. I was one 30th. Off. 30th. <laughs> oh. No, Hezzy. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Actually, for hey. a profit this week, it could be a does, does Henrik get a speeding penalty this week? Like the odds have to be like minus two hundred for this, like guaranteed speeding <laughs> penalty. He's got if one it's, in every if race. If it's so minus two hundred for him, what is it for Kyle Busch to do it more than once a race? <laughs> hey, this is just <laughs> lay the hammer on it. All right, well that is rolling off the grid. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I we enjoy it. Play along with us, and uh, we'll continue to keep track of that. But let's go ahead and jump into the Phoenix preview. Sorry, that, that's one of my budget savers when it comes to the videos. You know, I, I had to pay Will Ferrell. I had to pay SpongeBob. I had to pay Adam Sandler. You got, you got to save money somewhere. So, well, Phoenix has, in my mind, he it is the Richmond of some awful racing. I, I am a just absolute cannot stand Phoenix, um, mainly because Homestead had to die for it. Travis is, is jacked up on Pepsi about how he thinks that the – New package, aero package that is, could save this track. I'm not one in that vein. Uh, Travis, w- w- what would be a success? 
success would be just be able to, you know, just see some tire rubber going down, see some passing, no air blocking, no follow the leader. I think, you know, that's that's a success. Um, I just it, it just always gets single filed and, you know, there's no no one can pass. Like I said, it's all track position. They could just you could pit two tires and you could stay up front, you know, so it is just it's hard to go from, you know, 10th to six. I want to be able to see someone that you can go from like 10th and then throughout the whole run, you know, go forward. So I'm interested. I, I really do think there's going to be somewhere, you know, you know, I think last year was lap one was only in the lap 30 and 30th lap was only like four tenths off. You know, we got to see lap 30th be a second and a half off, you know, right. let these guys get some movement. That is the difference with Richmond. I mean, it's like three and a half seconds on <laughs> during a, a run with that. Yeah. Joe, is there anything that you're particularly partic- per is specifically looking for this weekend well, at Phoenix? I think anytime, uh, anytime they go to Phoenix, if I don't fall asleep in the second stage of the race <laughs> while I'm watching it, I think that's probably success. So if they keep me awake for the entire race, I'm going to deem it a success at that, uh, that speed. Yeah, way. yeah. Yeah, no, there'll be nobody cheering more for packages than Joe yeah. if he doesn't fall asleep in the second. Right. So let's uh, – I guess I have to pull this up. Here's our standings. The asterisks represent how many wins, not if, you know, you guys took steroids and I didn't, but it kind of looks that way. So 20 points and getting another win for Travis, picking the guy he's actually standing next to. Joe, he yeah. got his trophy right there in his hands because he also chose the race winner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I got four points. Let's just put it that way. So probably more of the same coming. We have your guys' picks if you guys want to talk about it. First, we'll go with you, Travis. You did choose Josh Berry. You also yeah. have Kyle Bush, Kyle Larson, Mr. Martin Truex, and Ryan Blaney. Is there anybody there out of your five that you know you feel really good about? I think Josh Besides Berry. Besides Kyle Larson. Josh Berry is kind of think a wild card. I think if you look at Kevin Harvick last year, both the the spring and the fall race, he was really good. You know, I could even make an argument that he probably should have won both races. He led a lot of laps in both races. Um, I know we're going there with a new package. Um, Josh Berry is a, you know, a short track guy. So I think they're going to get SHR back going again and i would not be surprised if we don't see a pretty good top 10 out of him um everybody else though is just the ones i, f- I feel like just consistent you know they if you look at some of their history with uh new packages and stuff like that you know who's the most versatile and you know you're going to probably get probably three out of those fiber probably the most versatile when it comes to stuff like that Joe, we'll now look at your picks. You have Kyle Busch as well and Kyle Larson, so you guys will offset on that. But you decided to go with Noah Gragson after his good run last week, the guy that you were worried about trying to uh, motivate him by taking him in Mr. Chase Elliott and then choosing Ty Gibbs, uh, one of your favorite drivers of all time. So, you know, yeah. so there anybody you would like to talk about out of those five? No, I, I just, you know, I know we talked about Chase a little bit ago and uh, you know, I, 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 I do feel, even though we're panicking a little bit, I feel like he's going to come out of it. I feel like uh, Gregson is going to get more consistent. And I, and I think it's time for, I, I really do think it's time for Greg's or uh, Gibbs to have a, a breakout race, which we really haven't seen yet. So, um, you know, I'm, I probably not the, the smartest uh, top five this week or, or, five picks, but, uh, I went with my gut. So. Yeah. I got to quit doing that with mine. I need to go with your guys' gut. I decided to go back to the well with both Christopher Bell, who I thought could have won this race. William Byron, who got second place last year, Ryan Blaney, who won it, or actually, I'm sorry. I'm all jacked up. Ryan Blaney, who got second, William Byron, who I believe got third or fourth. Christopher Bell, who I thought was going to win it before his brakes blew out. The guy that did win the race, which I'm surprised nobody's actually talking about, was Ross Chastain. And then I went, you know, my out of the top 10, out of the top 20. Mr. Mahindra Chase Briscoe, you said himself, because like you guys already mentioned, he does have a win here. 
And um, I'm just begging for something. You know, I'm, I'm looking. I, I, I like Chase Briscoe, and I feel like I just have to be that guy that props him up um, because I, I, you know, Joe and I have talked about it. We've all talked about it. You know, Noah Gregson looks like he's already taking the lead at Stuart Haas, and I feel like maybe that'll motivate Chase even more. Probably not, because I also thought William Byron and uh, Kyle Larson would motivate Chase Elliott, but so far that's not happened either. So it is what it is. Well, gentlemen, that will do it for an abbreviated Stuck in the Catch Fence weekly show. Do you, Travis, have anything else before we jump off here? No, excited for the new package. Come on. Yeah, I'm excited. Come on, let's see something. Let's see something. Come on, let's see something. I just want to see something different. You know, I just don't want it. I I just want to see something different. That's it. Just give me something different. Joe? I'm really excited for the package, too. Let's go to Phoenix and let's stay awake. (laughs) This is where you guys can find us. These different places right here. Facebook, Patreon, and Rumble if you want to go somewhere else besides YouTube. Well, guys, my name is Ryan Peters, Travis Butt, and Joe Spillman. And everybody here is stuck at the catch fence. And the only place... Well, you'll hear package more than 15 times in a 30-minute episode. We'll see you next time. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for our gambling show. We'll see you.